Hey YouTube, this is Orion making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, this is a, another overview of a variant on the 5 C's kit. I've made up my own variant on the 5 C's kit. Basically, what I've done is added on to the 5 C's kit to more suit the Australian version. This is my version of the 5 C's kit. What I've done is basically added a few comfort items and a snake bite kit and a first aid kit onto the 5 C's. Dave Canterbury's 5 C's kit and made it more suitable to Australian conditions. As everyone knows, Australia has some of the most poisonous snakes in the world. You have a look on the top 25 list, and I think number 12 comes in at the King Cobra. The first 11 are all Australian terrestrial snakes and some sea snakes. So, basically, you've got to be prepared to be bitten. I've been out in the bush a fair bit in my younger years, and I've encountered snakes, but I've never been bitten. I don't know anyone that has been bitten, but you're silly if you don't prepare for a bite. So that's all I'll say. Be prepared for it. Don't be paranoid about it. But just prepare for it. So I advocate that you carry around a snake bite kit. Well I've got onto these ones. I bought them from Catch. They're, they're an online store. But these are not my normal ones I get. I bought them from Catch. They're about $13 plus a couple of bucks shipping. Pretty reasonably priced. All the other ones I've ever had were a little bit more expensive. They tended to be around the $25, $30 mark. And as you can see, they are quite a bit smaller. But they had pretty much everything you needed in. I won't get it out. They've got a couple of compression bandages. They've got a um, triangular bandage. Instructions how to do it. Basic snake bite kit. I haven't used it yet. Hope I never get to use it. Don't ever want to get bitten by a snake. But anyway, just attaches on the outside of, and I base my whole kit, the 5C's kit, my variation of 5 C's kit on a hydration pack and I attached this this I think it's a molly oh anyway it's a this kit on the outside of that hydration pack so it's a two and a half litre kit so it holds two and a half litres of water plus that and the and the snake bite kit. It doesn't weigh a lot. It, like three liters, two and a half liters of water, so it's two and a half kilos plus that. You can throw it on your back, and it's not a a lot of weight to be carrying around out in the bush. And as you'll see when I pull it all out, it's a fair bit of gear in here that will basically and affect a reasonable amount of survival for probably about 72 hours. It'll, it'll allow you to start a fire, get some water going. It's got no food in it at all. First aid, a few comfort items and whatnot. And just basically help you out. In the back here, I 
put a 100% cotton tea towel, a couple of 100% cotton bandanas, and a, I bought them from Aldi, they had uh, dry sacks, and it's the smallest version. And I just slipped them in the back there, and they just fit in there. Lots of uses for the, for the tea towels. They're 100% cotton, so in the rare event that I had to make char cloth, I could do that as well. Use them for filtering water, um, all sorts of stuff, bandages, whatever. Anyway, also on the outside here, I've got a blast match and tinder. So that's one of the five C's. So that's combustion straight up. Cutting tool. In Australia, they don't like you wearing belt knives. I would, on private property, run around in state forest or in, um, on, um, not state forest, um, the other forests, um, I can't even remember the name of the bloody things. But anyway, national parks. National parks, you, if you've got a belt knife on, the green hills will lose their minds. Most people will look at you as if you're a, almost a terrorist running around with a belt knife on. Keep it in your pack. Um, keep it hid, hidden. But I definitely advocate, because you are allowed to have them, just keep them out of sight so people don't you don't scare people off because I'd have pocket knives on as well because you're out in the bush you're allowed to you're definitely allowed to have pocket knives on while you're out in the bush but I'd have a couple of pocket knives on a multi-tool Swiss army knife I'd have a fixed blade at least one fixed blade hidden from view in in the, in the pack as well I don't know, I, I don't know if I'll keep that on there. That's to flush out this. This is the Soya water filter. I just put it on there, it's an inline filter that I am I put on my hydration pack. They're supposed to be pretty good. Um, that there is just, to, that, that thing there is just to, flush it out but the Sawyers have got a good reputation so I um I, I, I said I thought why not why not put it in there so I can I'd pre-filter it with using one of the 100% cotton bandanas just pour the water out of that fill that up pour it through filter then put it in me in me in me thing there and then run it through the filter so at least I maybe not get sick. That's a um head fil uh head net. They don't take a lot of space up. I don't really use them, um, mainly just to keep the flies and stuff off your head, but uh, they're neither here nor there. I don't know, um, it was only just to fill a little spot up. Um, I probably won't keep it in there anymore. This is just a um, pocket chainsaw, one of the cheap Chinese versions. They work all right, um, you, they do get a bit clogged occasionally, so. I might change it over. I've got a couple of uh, better versions of them. So, but at the moment, it does work good. So, I've um, I've put it in there. That's a monocular. It's quite a good one. It's not too bad at all. I like the monoculars. Saves, so, so you can look around. Those two there, 
that's for the Sawyer. It actually screws on to one part of it. I'd have to look in the instructions again to see exactly where it screws on. But you can actually fill that up with water and then this screws onto it as well. And that's a uh, just another 500 mil water soft water bag that I've I got just for more water carriage because basically you can't have enough water carriage in Australia because you end up you you just got to have a lot of water as far as I'm concerned. One of my comfort items. If anyone's been out in the bush and you're getting bitten by insects, stop itch. Helps so well. Relieve stopping a stop itch. And then the other comfort item is Aerogard. Stops insects. Slows them up anyway. So that's another comfort item. Bivy bag. These are for one of the five seeds covers. I've got a bivy bag. I've got a emergency blanket and I've got a heavy duty um, bag there. They're all my cover items. First aid kits there. It's fully stocked. It's quite a quite an extensive one and it takes up most of the most of this pack. So that's all there. And then I've got a hank of paracord, quite a lot, and down the bottom there is bank line. So that's basically the five C's all there, cutting, uh, I've got the cutting, combustion on the side, containers there, there, and there, and the cover. So, and then the very, and then I've added a few extra bits and pieces in here to go in, which is just slight variations on it. And as you can see, that little head cover goes in there but I don't know if I'll keep it in there or not um, if you've seen the flies sometimes you get out in the bush and the flies are that thick you just sometimes you just want relief from the bastards from being all over you and if they're going in your nose and you swallow on them and it's just sometimes you just want to get them off your head and that's why I put that head cover in there because sometimes you just want relief from them. And I'd basically, I basically put, I always tie them up so that those zips don't ever come undone and then it all falls apart. Again, I put a tie on there so that it never uncome, undone. And then I actually, um, I wrap this around and it, it wraps around and then goes in there so it's it's all tied up together so basically what I do is wear that around my waist with my knife on there obviously and then that on my back and between the two of them I've basically covered a variation on the five C's kit because that's got a that's a if you go through my video list that's a dedicated fire kit and it's got enough fire in there. I can make fire if it's pissing down rain, whatever. It's got sure fire in there. It's got all sorts of different fire kit, fire methods in there. It's about seven different ways of making fire in there. So that's why I don't just rely on that blast match. I've got fire in there as well. So that's my variation on the... 5 C's kit with a few comfort items and first aid kit and uh, uh, I'm trying out a new first uh, snake bite kit not a bad kit um, I've opened it up and had a look yeah it's it's got the bare minimum it's not as I don't think it's as extensive as the other one that I, I showed last time on other kit on, on my other kit reviews but um yeah it um it looks good and it just attaches here as well. And I, I made sure I put a carabiner on here. So even if it lets go, because it's only a, a snap snap fastener there. But I, I made sure I carabinered it all. And the same here, I carabiner everything so that 
it'll never fall off and I can never lose it because it, it's all, all secured to make sure I don't don't ever lose it all off but anyway again hope you find this interesting and um, thanks for watching